Hello viewers! During these scorching hot summer days, one of the things you surely don't want to happen is for your aircon to stop working. This is one of those features in a car most of us take for granted and don't think much about it. That is, unless something goes wrong with it. And one of the things that can cause this to happen is a bad AC pressure switch. Still, how to tell if it's to blame? Well, that's what we'll find out in this video, but before we do, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button. Let's go! We'll start by briefly explaining the function of the AC pressure switch. This component monitors the refrigerant's pressure and ensures it's within given limits. On more or less all cars, there are two switches, one monitoring the high pressure side and the other keeping an eye on the low pressure side. The latter of the two ensures that the pressure never drops too low, which usually happens when there is a leak. And if working without enough refrigerant, the AC compressor could be significantly damaged. On the other side, the high pressure switch will detect any pressure buildups inside the aircon system, which could be caused by blockages or something similar. As this can cause the system to explode, this switch shuts it off if the pressure is too high. Ok, now you know what the AC pressure switch does. And now let's see what will happen if it fails. One of the things you're likely to experience if the AC pressure switch is bad is intermittent air conditioning. Or to put it simply, the aircon may seem to shut down on its own, although you haven't turned it off. Another possibility is that it might only work occasionally, leaving you hot most of the time. Furthermore, a defective AC pressure switch may prevent the aircon in your car from kicking in whatsoever. Effectively, what happens is that you turn on the aircon and only warm air is coming through the vents. However, a lot of other things, such as a refrigerant leak or a defective AC compressor, can cause the aircon to completely stop working. Lastly, there is that distinct clicking sound from the engine bay that can be heard when the AC compressor's clutch engages or disengages. If the AC pressure switch is faulty and causes the aircon to shut down intermittently, you'll hear this clicking on and off despite not turning the aircon on and off. This is a definitive sign something is causing the aircon to shut off on its own, and one of the quite possible things is a defective AC pressure switch. Still, there might be no sound at all if the aircon doesn't even kick in. As you may see, a faulty AC pressure switch can cause several symptoms, all of which can be caused by other things. So before replacing it, you should try to test it. And to do so, you'll first have to find it. The AC pressure switches are located on the AC pipes on both sides of the aircon compressor. You'll find the low pressure AC switch on the low pressure side, smaller pipe, and the other on the high pressure side, larger pipe. More precisely, the low pressure switch is located before the AC compressor, while the high pressure one is fitted somewhere after it. Most AC pressure switches are found within the engine compartment, but some manufacturers put them elsewhere. A quick look in the service manual will show you the exact location for your model. Or you can always leave a question in the comment section below, someone is bound to know the answer. Having found and identified the switches, you can now test them, and all that is needed for this is a multimeter. Set it to ohms and measure the resistance between the signal and ground pin. The reading should be zero when the switch is closed and no open circuit when it's open. However, check a repair manual for the exact values for your model. If this checks out ok, there are several other things you can try. For a start, there is always a chance that the actual pressures within the AC systems are off for any reason. As said, there could be a leak causing a significant pressure loss or a blockage causing it to be too high. Luckily, the AC system has test valves which you can use to check the pressure using an ordinary pressure gauge. On the low pressure side you should have around 30 psi, while the high pressure side should have approximately 90 psi, although this varies depending on the outside temperatures. Next, check the aircon's operation by lowering all windows, turning on the car and setting the aircon to full blast. Leave it like that for 5 minutes or so, during which period the aircon shouldn't shut off at any moment, as it can't cool down the car enough. If it does, and especially if this happens intermittently and erratically, there is a good chance the AC pressure switch is defective. 
Next, most OBD2 scanners and apps for smartphones have the ability to access the AC control module should the car have it. So if you have such a tool, you can use it to check if there are any stored error codes which will help you narrow down the problem. Furthermore, access to the values coming from all sensors will give you a valuable insight into the aircon's operation. But if you don't have such a scanner or your car's AC cannot be checked with it, you need to do it manually. For this, to know what to look for, you'll need a wiring diagram and repair manual. Check if your AC pressure switch has two or three wires. If there are two wires, these are normally just a signal and a ground wire. If there are three wires, it probably has a 5 volt wire, signal and ground. Still, make sure to confirm this with a wiring diagram. Measure between the signal and ground pin with the multimeter to check the resistance. You should see 0 ohms when the switch is closed and an open circuit when the switch is open. Normally, the AC pressure switch is closed when the pressure is correct and working properly. You can also measure if there are 5 volts, ground and a signal coming from the engine control module at the AC pressure switch connector. If there is something wrong with the values, you'll need to check the wiring. However, you'll need a wiring diagram for this. If you've determined one of the AC pressure switches is defective, there's only one thing left to do. Replace it. The good news here is that the switch itself is not overly expensive. Their prices range between 20 and 50 bucks, although sometimes this can be as high as $100. Replacing it is in most cases a simple job that you can do on your own, but if you decide to have this done by a mechanic, expect to pay anywhere between $30 and $200 depending on how difficult is the access. Lastly, there is the question of whether the refrigerant shall escape during this procedure and the answer is no. This is because most cars have check valves inside the AC pipes that don't allow the refrigerant to pour out even if you remove the AC pressure switch. Still, do this carefully to confirm this is the case on your car. So that would be all about the AC pressure switch. I hope that after having watched this video you'll be able to figure out if that's what's causing issues with your aircon. And more importantly, that you manage to fix them and that your car is nice and comfortable once again. If so, give us a big thumbs up. But if not, a whole lot of other things could be causing the issue. So to continue troubleshooting, check out other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!